This is where we left in a previous video whereby we hashed the user password. So in this video, let's implement logging in functionality. So let's collapse this one and let me add the description for this controller as login user the endpoint going to be api version one users and login going to be public so let's create the controller as export const and login user controller and is equal to async rec dot rec response and as that so let's look at the logic a user is being logged in if the email and the password the user is passing is equal to the record that has been saved in our db so here we are going to take the details the user is going to use to log in from rec.body and we need the user to provide the email and then the password so for the meantime we are going to allow the user to log in with only email so first of all we need to find the user in the db find the user in db by email only that is our logic for now so going to be as const user found is equal to await the user model dot find one and want to find by email great so down here if there is no user found then it means that there is no user with this particular email so you go ahead and send some error message for the meantime it is not but we assume that it is and we have a section to handle errors gracefully and we say invalid login details otherwise we will go ahead and say that you have logged in or well, let me say login success all right so next step is that we need to create a route for this controller to be called so let's get back to the user's route here we have the first one for registration so let's copy this one and down here let's bring in the login and the endpoint here is login and the controller is login user controller and that is it we are done because we are mounting the entire route inside the app so let's get back to postman and here i'm going to duplicate this one and change this one to login the endpoint here is login and well i have some error message here that my login has failed so let's provide the actual payload as raw text and email is admin at gmail.com and send well let me check my server cannot set headers after has been returned to the client meaning that I'm returning two responses from this, this one and that. So let me return from here. Meaning if there is no user, please return. All right, so let's check again and look in success. But if I provide some IDs or email like that, you can see that look in field. And this is what we call logging in a user but this is low level logging in by logging in with only email so let's increase the security level for this so next step is that we are going to allow the user to provide the password but here is a catch inside our db 
we are saving the hash password. So how can the user remember this password? Well, the good news is that Bcrypt is going to help us to achieve this one in the simplest way. So let's continue. So here, after a user is being found, then we we'll go ahead and then take the password the user is logging with and give it to Bcrypt and then Bcrypt will compare that, hey, are you providing me the password you used to hash to get the random string of characters I gave you in some moment ago? If answer is yes, then it means that that password matches. So let's remove these responses and let's continue. So next step is that we are going to make some condition. If user found and here we are going to make use of Bcrypt package. And for this one, we're going to take some time. So we need to await the response. It's going to be as await. Then bcrypt.compare. The name is even descriptive. What are we comparing? We are comparing the plain password and the password being saved in the DB. And we have access on the user found as user found. And I want to use some optional chaining as this dot password as that. And this optional chaining is the same as using an operator as user found and dot password. All right, so this one is the same as using the optional chaining. This is a new feature in JavaScript. All right, so next step is that we we'll go ahead and then return the user from here. Else, we will say that login field and I will say res.json for the meantime. This is not the ideal way to handle error, but let's maintain it as it is. All right, I'm going to be as invalid login. And if something goes right here, then you go ahead and return the user here. And it's going to be as status. And you will say success. And the message is going to be as user logged in successfully. And let's send the user found. All right. So moment of truth. So back here, let me provide the right email as admin to let me send. Well, login failed because there is no password or I misspelled the email and better still because I'm not providing the password. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see. Well, I still have invalid login credentials or supposed to be admin. Yeah, and there you go. If I provide the password something like this. Great login failed. If password is correct and email is not correct. Failed. Unless both are correct. Perfect.